Hey everybody, this is Christian Buckley doing another MVP Buzz Chat. I'm talking today with Jiva. Hello. Hello, hey Christian, how are you? I'm doing well. And for folks that don't know you, who are you, where are you, and what do you do? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, myself Jiva. Uh, my full name is Jiva Rajan Kumar. I'm a Microsoft Business Application MVP for the last uh, almost four years now. Mm -hmm. I'm a pandemic baby, I would say, in terms of MVP. So I had my, I got my MVP just a couple of months before the pandemic and how I got all my uh, tickets booked and all those stuff arranged for the Microsoft MVP summit. And then, oh, uh, then yep. the great news came out and then never had a chance to uh, go to the summit, in-person summit, uh, uh, fingers crossed for this one. Uh, yeah, and I'm uh, currently, I, I got my MVP when I was in Singapore. So mm -hmm. most of my community activities, uh, when I started, I was in Singapore. Especially, my focus was around. Uh, I was the uh, co-organizer for the Singapore Dynamics 365 and Power Platform, Power Platform User Group, mm -hmm. and also uh, we used to offer uh, often uh, conduct events at ASEAN level. So we have events that uh, are between ASEAN countries, and then I do. Uh, I have been a part of the global communities like uh, Global Power Platform Bootcamp. So I'm one of the global organizer of the Global Power Platform Bootcamp, which is going to happen in next two three weeks. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then uh, TDG, other community, and then Power Community, which is to be called as 365 Saturday. So uh, I've been part of these communities uh, since like like three, four years now. Yeah. And yeah. recently, like six months before, I moved to Auckland, uh, New Zealand, and uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm organizing an Auckland uh, chapter of Global Power Platform Bootcamp uh, here with, along with another MVP from Auckland. Yeah. So that's that's on the organizing side, and I do. Uh, I'm quite active speaker as well. So I do speak in the several sessions and uh, global events uh, uh, for uh, uh, about our platform and uh, Dynamics 365, especially here on side of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to be quite active with my blogs and then videos, but you know, like I'm just trying to catch up with all this immigration process on well, the stuff. There's so. a whole conversation around that of like the popular question is, is always yeah. like, you know, how do you keep up? And uh, it, we all have kind of variations of the same answer of that. Uh, I always start with saying it's like, oh, I don't. I rely on <laughs> other people to keep up yeah. on, on everything. But hey, I, I wanted to ask though, so somebody that's very plugged into the user groups and stuff, do you, is it returning to in-person? Is it still mostly virtual down there? Oh, now it's returning into in-person events. Uh, so especially this year, uh, we started doing in-person events uh, both in Singapore and also in, in Auckland. Uh, and yeah, things are getting into normal, I would say. Yeah, that's it's great to see that. I know that there's a lot of user groups and hey, my local user group as well, where still we have the majority of people that are joining virtually and have no plans to go back to in-person. They're just fine. And uh, yeah, it, but it's it's great to see that stuff is kind of on the rise and getting back to in person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on that note, like now we are just giving that flexibility of doing the events as a hybrid, uh, because to, because few people still want it's comfortable to join uh, online instead of you know like uh, uh, going in person. Mm -hmm. So we are whatever we do in person event, we are also trying to make it as a, we also have a team link or make it a you know, live one so that. Uh, person who uh, people who wants to join uh, virtually they will get benefit as well yeah uh, i love doing that well i i always like to hear kind of like the the origin story of mvps like so how what was your path to becoming an mvp what was that what's the background what were you doing uh, right. beforehand yes yeah so uh before mvp i used to follow the mvps mm -hmm. so i i quite actively listen to the podcast uh in in, in power platform before platform it was like crm so we have the crm MVP podcast and uh, CRM audio podcast, those kind of podcasts. And then I follow certain MVPs uh, quite actively, you know, like ask them about the about how the MVP program works. And they're very generous, you know, in terms of any MVPs. If you go for, uh, if you have any questions, they already, they always you know try to help you with the process and those stuff. And then uh, uh, eventually what happened was, is I was in one of the meetups, uh, Azure meetups in Singapore. So there was no Dynamics 365 R Power Platform meetup at the, at the group, user group at that point of time. So I was in an audience in one of the Azure uh, user group, and then uh, one of my fellow uh, uh, user group uh, organizer was just presenting a session there. 
just you know like I once got for our platform and uh, out of the blue uh, one of our seniors who is my co-organizer now just asked who was interested in doing or coming attending the dynamics 65 power platform uh, events I was the only one who raised my hand uh -huh. so then we <laughs> we connected after that and then he joined Microsoft which really helped us to build that you know community and then uh, three more uh, people we joined and then there's become like a good team, like 10 more folks we joined and then you know, we tried to uh, start the event and then we uh, successfully started the user groups and then uh, it's been running for three and a half years now. So that's that's the story. Uh, now like, uh, that's, that's kind of like, uh, I'm so close to, so attached to the Singapore user group because that's something we started from scratch with, you know, with other uh, existing MVPs and then the new other community leaders. Yeah. yeah. And then since then, uh, it's mostly on the organizing, speaking, and then whenever I get a time, I try to do the blogs and then answer queries in the forum, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I, I think there's a great lesson there. It's a pretty common story of, you know, knowing people through the community, be plugged in enough that, you know, folks, Microsoft does a lot of hiring out of the community, like people that they follow and MVPs that they will then go and hire. So if you already have that connection to the local community, the regional community, then they can be one of your best uh, advocates. I always say that it's like the, like some of the best contacts for uh, for as a as a community person that organizes events and activities. Um, I reach out to the people that are former MVPs that I'm friends with that are now at Microsoft because they still you know they understand more than most of what it means to start and run community and and how Microsoft can help. And so they're it's great to have those contacts. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's always, and, and I'm sure most people, if you're in the Microsoft ecosystem, then um, I mean, that's, that's why if you don't know any other MVPs um, getting to know the local end user communities in any yeah. of the technology areas, because there's people like us that we go, it's yeah. not like I'm, I'm a former SharePoint MVP. It's like, but I go, right. we have our Microsoft 365 related. So all the collaboration technology things, but we're plugged into the Azure events. I've run the Azure boot camps, the, the right. global event. I did that twice and we're planning to do that again. Mm -hmm. um, and we do other things around power platform and a variety of topics. I've done blockchain yeah. events as well. Oh, I'm right. not, not doing as much in blockchain these days, but yeah. um, still out there, I believe. But uh, yeah, so I mean, you can find people that are active in other product areas yeah, it, it starts with going to something, some kind of user yeah. group. Exactly, right. It really uh, helps to build that network, and then you can tend to meet lots of new people, and then you know, like uh, you find a mutual interest. You basically work with them to see how you can extend your contribution in whatever way it is possible. Yeah. So, what are your kind of uh, hot topics? What are the big things that you're talking about and writing about, and you know, right now, con creating content around? Uh, yes. So uh, right now, in terms of writing content, I'm working on uh, I'm drafting uh, the recent uh, Wave 1 releases of 2023 for Power Platform and Dynamics 65 CRM. So I'm working on writing series of blogs in those uh, about the Wave 1 release features. That's something ongoing now. And uh, second thing is I'm working uh, with uh, a local user group leader to uh, conduct the Global Power Platform uh, Bootcamp in Auckland. And I'm also working with uh, other user group leaders uh, who were required helps uh, help uh, in terms of organizing the global power platform bootcamp. Uh, since I'm a part of the uh, global organizing committee, so they would they will have lots of doubts and then clarifications and assistance regarding sponsorships and then how to run the events and the format and those stuff. So I connect with them often and then try to help wherever it's possible. That's what keeping me busy at the moment uh, for this month and uh, for next month as well. Yeah. That's very exciting. Well, very, very cool. What else is anything else? Uh, like, so the community, how, so remind me, how long have you been in Auckland now? Did you say? It's just uh, seven months now. Seven months. I mean, there's a lot of MVPs, a lot of great people that are in, of course, my side, again, on the collaboration stack, you have uh, Daryl Webster and Debbie Ireland, and there's an, a great event that's happening in March down there. I think the, the annual event is going to be happening. That's around the collaboration technology. Right. Okay. There's a lot yeah, I, going on in the space. Uh, that, that's good to know. <laughs> the reason is uh, I I haven't met uh, most of them. Uh, I only had a chance to meet few uh, in our last MVP catch up. So we had this uh, uh, MVP catch up in the last December, mm -hmm. uh, just before the year end close. And uh, I had a chance to meet a few great MVPs from data platform and then uh, from business applications as well. 
Uh, and but yeah, I really haven't had a chance to meet uh, all of them. But I hope you know, in the coming days I will have a chance to uh, meet them, and then uh, if possible, just you know, have a present uh, a session in the event. Yeah, it's good to know. But I I'll, I'll uh, research something on that. Yeah. Well, there's I know it's seven months that uh, I'm sure time flies by, especially yeah. when you're when you're busy working and and having just moved relocated. Um, but it's a uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite destinations. I love New Zealand. Um, oh, yeah, you should come. Have you been to Hobbiton yet? <laughs> not yet, not yet. But this this summer they say it's a it's a weird summer in New Zealand because it's been raining and there have been like few uh, flood warning, including the one that is going oh, to yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's it's been a weird uh, summer this time, and like most of our plans which we had uh, have been spoiled because of the uh, bad weather and. Hopefully things get better, and then I need to plan certain uh, places like especially Hobbit and then a few yeah uh, attractions. No, it's I mean it, it's beautiful. Like I I've spent I think I've traveled more on the South Island than the North Island, but all right. Um, I mean it's just it's beautiful getting down to for folks that've never been down there. Like I went down and did a trip road trip, and we did the Milford Sound, which was yeah. just incredible. And you know driving around from Christchurch, and uh, we went all the way down to Invercargill. And we had people that were from Australia that are like, why are you going to Invercargill? It's the southernmost city down on, on the coast at the bottom of the country. And there's no offense to anybody that's from there, but there's no reason to ever go there. <laughs> I think there's like military base or something that's down there, like an observatory for bird watching or yeah, I guess so. something. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's gorgeous. But well, very cool. Well, I'm glad we're able to connect and, and hopefully I'll see you at one of these uh these MVP events and once we get back to doing in person on a regular basis again. Uh, likewise, looking forward to meet you and other MVPs as well. Let's see how things go. Like fingers crossed, as I said. <laughs> well, for folks that want to find out more about you or reach out to you, what are the best ways to find you online? So I'm quite active in LinkedIn and in Twitter as well. So in LinkedIn, if you search by my name, Jiva Rajan Kumar, you can uh, find me. And then also in Twitter, I go with the same name, Jiva Rajan Kumar. And of course, you'll have all the his contact information out on YouTube as well as on my blog, blog at buckleyplanet.com. And so, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, Gio, really appreciate your time. And uh, thanks for waking up early on a Saturday morning to talk to me. <laughs> it's not early, it's uh, 9 30. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, thanks. thanks yeah, but you Saturday, know. you're supposed to sleep in. Come on. <laughs> That's what happened, actually. <laughs> yeah. And thanks for the opportunity anyways, Christian. I really appreciate it. You know, like, again, thank, it's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you, have me in this event. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks a lot. Wow.